Hello, lovers of funny ladies. Welcome to another episode of Funny for Girls. I'm your host, Robin Reiser. Today, we ask the crucial question, how do we make sex sexy? And of course, we don't need Dr. Ruth. We get all our answers from those pillars of wisdom, female comics. Taylor Morgan has some great solutions for dealing with apathy in the bedroom. Just watch her clip. This is how lazy I am. Uh, fooling around with my boyfriend and he wants to go again. I'm kind of tired, so I go, you know what would really turn me on, baby? Let's pretend I'm the quadriplegic <laughs> and you're the naughty night janitor. I can only move my eyes. <laughs> That's a great game, because he does all the work, and I just lay there the whole time saying things like, mm, too bad I can't feel anything from the neck down. <laughs> you are not going to get away with this, mister. <laughs> what are you doing back there? She's right, of course. Role-playing is a great way to keep things interesting. My husband and I just tried it. He said, Hey, Robin, you pretend to be a really hot cheerleader on your way to the locker room. And I said, okay. He said, what do you think I should pretend to be? And I said, anyone else. Anyone else. After watching Nine and a Half Weeks, I tried to spice things up in the bedroom with food. Let me give you a little tip. Just because your man loves mustard and relish does not mean that he wants to come home to find you naked in bed covered in it. I smelled like a hot dog for weeks, and he now has panic attacks every time we drive by a wiener schnitzel. Let's see if Carrie and Kara at Trash Talk have any good ideas about what's sexy. It's time for something else. Here's something. Cosmo has come up with its sexy list, and they've determined that the sexiest food you can eat with your hands is popcorn. Oh, oh. Kara? Oh, this is the sexiest food you can Check eat. Check this out. Mm. It is so sexy. Oh, oh my God, it's so sexy. Mm. 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 Sexy. Wow, they're not kidding. That is some sexy food. Whew. It's clear I have a lot to learn about fantasies. That's why I'm turning to Carla Collins, because she certainly has a lot of experience. And ladies, I'm telling you, we are all the same in bed. Everybody, we all think we have like unique moves, like, oh, I've got some Cirque du Soleil <laughs> really knocks them out. <laughs> I do something with a Boost J and a ball of Febreze and a Joe Foreman grill that just kill her. But we all have the same moves. I'll tell you, every single woman in this room at some point has used some poor fellow's member as a microphone. Because it's just there, right? And you're spotting it. Woo! It, anybody here from out of town? I check. One, one. Siblings. I think I love. Anyway. Or you're switching gears like you're butchering a standard. Woo! I've said too much. And finally, I'll leave you with this. Finally, we have all slept with the same man. Especially you and I. I think I know him too. Colin Farrell. No, we've all slept the same man. Because tell me if this doesn't look familiar, okay? And this is why we've all also faked orgasms. Except for me now, I fake not having one. It takes discipline, but it keeps Junior down there a lot longer. Okay. Okay, so we're making love. This is not how I look making love. More how I look doing squats, but, uh, but the heels are on. You're making love, and women are very visual and romantic, so okay, you're almost there. Start picturing waves crashing up against the mountains. You can hear Sting in the background, if I ever lose my faith. And the angels are singing, ah, oh, so close, so close. You're almost there, when all of a sudden you hear, who's daddy's dirty little <laughs> Gotta be me. 
Well, that certainly is a party foul, right, ladies? Ladies? Hello? <laughs> this is how I deal with unwanted sex talk. Or any unwanted talk, actually. I think we've all learned something today. Most importantly, if your sexual fantasies involve popcorn, yelling things like extra butter, extra salt, kettle corn, kettle corn, during sex may not work in your favor. But if your fantasies involve funny ladies, then we have the spot for you, Chick Comedy. I'm Robin Reiser. See you next time. Bye.